Hi again, uh, my dear friends. Uh, we're going to continue now uh, with our little knitting project, and I'm going to teach you how to make the other type of stitch which I told you about before, which is called purl. So the one I've, I've shown you is called knit, uh, and the one I'm going to show you now is uh, called purl. And uh, the way you can uh, the reason why you want to learn these two different ones is that uh, when you're knitting only uh, when you're knitting only um, knit, this is what you get. As I showed you before, uh, well, actually, I've got it on my skirt here. This is uh, no, no. Wait a sec. Uh, now I better show it on this. This is. This, these uh, first rows are what you call knit. And up here I've started to do one row knit and one row uh, of the, um, the pearl. And that uh, gives you uh, this flat uh, appearance. So this on the skirt here, this flat appearance you get when you when you can do both types of, of stitch. So I'm going to uh, just turn the camera and I'll show you how to do this. Down a little bit. Uh, actually, yeah. I think we want to get the light better here. Okay, so here we have this uh, flat appearance, and up here I've done something different. I'll show you that what that is. So, and this is also twenty stitches, only it's a finer needle. So what we did before here is actually also 20 stitches only it's it's a coarser it's a thicker needle of course so that gives you a more a bigger uh, piece of work so now I've, I've left the colors on this time so I haven't I haven't cut them off so now I'm ready to do a row of what you call pearl and when you're doing pearl, get all these colours away. Just have a brown one to use. When you're doing pearl, uh, you actually start off having the thread over, and you still have the same uh, the same way of holding the yarn. But now you're going to do it differently. So you're going to go in like this, and you, this is a little bit more difficult than the other one, and a bit slower also. You go in and you take this one too, and you go round it, and then you take it, you take it back in where you put it in, and you slip it off. So you lift it up again, you go in like this, push the needle in, go around and get it and bring it back, pull it through and slip it off. So you go over, you go in from there, see it fell off there, you can push it in with your thumb and you, and you just sort of tighten a bit. So actually using this thumb to control the thread a bit so it doesn't slip off. So and as you see after a while you can start using this using this index finger when you get more clever, more practice. So it's ten fingers that are
are all working together. And the more practice, like everything else, the more refined it's going to be. So here we are. Now, uh, because I want this, this is what we call uh, the front side, what you call knit in English. And to have this flat appearance, I'm going to have to do a knit row. And I'll just take another color. I think I'll take a white one. Oh, that has actually come off, so I have to take a new. So we're going to do as I did before. So here we do the knit again. And that's going to give us this flat. And I also use this to, just to show you how fast you can actually go when you have uh, thinner uh, needles. You can go and you practice a lot. You can go real fast. So now we're going round again. We're going to do we're going to do the 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 pearl again. So we we take it over this not like that as we do when we do the knit, taking it over this way, and we go in. Go in here and swirl it round and bring it up back. Go in, go round, bring it back. You can't really go quite as fast, but you can go pretty fast doing this type of, of stitch. <coughs> Now, if I want to, so you can you can sort of play with this, because see, uh, I'm supposed to do a another row of knit now. But actually, if I want one of those patterns in here, I can do a row of of um, of the pearl. So I'm going to do another row of pearl, and that will make this little pattern come up. So I'm actually uh, doing this uh, that was supposed to be on the other side. I'm bringing up to the front side. So in Danish you call these two stitches, you call knit rat, which is the front side or the outside of a garment. And vra means um, the wrong it's actually the same word as wrong vra, vra. Uh, this is vra this is the back side of the garment you, of, usually is is wrong vra and this is a rat it's the right side it's the um, uh, what do you call it it's the um, uh, I can't remember the word so we'll do another another row of of pearl just so we have one row that sort of sticks out like this You've got this. You've got this coming out here, and that way you can really play with it, with just with these two types of stitches, and just a few colours. You can make some really fun things. And if ever you, oh, you might. I'll just show you what happens often when you're learning. Is you you drop a stitch. Uh, oh, this is not the best place to show you, but I'll just show you what happens. You drop a stitch like this. You can sort of find it and get it back. And here you have to take it this way in. So this is the one. Bring it in. Bring it back in. 
so that's because we made a pearl there but this one so you, you sort of catch you can see the stitches they're going all the way down this way so if you leave this or just keep letting it go down it will go all the way down so we've caught it now and and you pick up this it's supposed to be knitted and you just bring it back in and so you go on knitting and if you made something you think oh th this is just not very nice and you haven't cut the, the yarn lots of places you can just undo it so I'll just undo this some of it I'll just undo it like this and you can say okay right uh, I just got to undo it down to this if I can Oops. Yeah. got a bit stuck oh sorry that sounded so easy <laughs> what's happened Oh, anyway, oh, I'm going to untangle all that. And these are, I forgot to say, these are metal ones, of course. And I'm just going to collect, I'm going to decide, oh, I'll do a bit more knitting. So I'll just collect all the mat the uh, the stitches again. Just bring them back on. And, and these are, are metal needles. And they have no ends, as you can see. They have no end, end on them, so the stitches can come off. And the reason why is that they use you use them for making socks. Uh, well, partly you can make other things. Going using uh, for, for knitting round. Uh, so now I've picked them up again. I think I need to bring this one right up. But you can sort of play with it like that. Uh, so. Um, that was that was that stitch. Uh, the uh, I'll just turn the camera. A bit crooked. So this was that. This was the uh, the two different types of stitches. And um, and uh, next time I'll show you how to knit socks. So see you soon.